Joining us now, we've been waiting for this for a long time, Morris Pearl. <laughs> now, Morris is a patriotic millionaire. He's a wealthy guy who says the rich are getting away with paying too little in taxes. Morris, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Varney. Thank you for having Mr. me. Mr. Varney. Well, that's Ooh. very kind of you. Thank you very much. Now, let's <laughs> narrow this down and let's be fair here. Because you're not talking about raising taxes on everybody for everything. You're talking about getting rid of carried interest. That's the well, special tax rate that hedge fund guys well, getting, pay. Getting rid of the loophole that hedge fund managers yeah. who don't actually invest money get the special tax rates meant to incentivize investing. Yeah, That's and what we're talking about. would you believe that I actually agree with you on this? Great. <laughs> Great. Shocked? I've convinced Great. you already. No, that didn't. No, no. <laughs> what you've done is you've convinced me that this is a narrow attack, that you're only going after carried interest. So that if I, for example, I own a house and I sell it for a large profit and I'm a wealthy guy, my capital gains tax rate doesn't go up, right? Right. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the bills now in Congress submitted by the minority party, the Democrats, to change the rules on passing through of income from partnerships to partners, such that the managers who don't invest money won't get the benefit of the long-term capital gains preferential rates meant for investors to incentivize investing. I think you're right. We think that's the most egregious example of a loophole that's completely taken advantage of by people it wasn't meant to benefit that we can okay. see. If you thought I was going to attack you on this program for that, you're sadly mistaken. However, let's move on to other territory for a second. Okay. Um, someone who lives in New York City and makes good money, serious money, at the moment pays in the neighborhood of 50-55% tax on state, city, and federal. Okay? That's yeah. roughly that level. and uh, you, You'd accept that. Now, I've, I've experienced doing that. Okay. Now, do you want to pay more? Well, I think that those who have more, those who take advantage of the government, should pay wait, wait. for... Taking advantage things. of the government? They made that money. And you think that they should pay even more than 55% of their income in taxes? Do no, you, really? I, I think that 55% is probably enough. But I think that those people at the top of the income ladder are today, many of them are not paying that much because of loopholes like carried interest, like capital gains exclusions, like all kinds of things that the richest among us are using to reduce their tax burden and letting the poorest who actually earn money by the but hour have Rich, rich their people hero. can always pay more if they wish, but you're trying to force other people to pay more. Well, we live in a community, and we all have to contribute to the welfare of that community. But we do. Half of your income goes? Isn't that a contribution? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But whose money is it? Is it the government's money, which they're letting us keep, or is it my money, which I'm forced to give money to the government? Well, it's your money. It's not the giving it to the government. It's giving it to use for community purposes, to pay for things like our national defense, to pay for things like the Internet, which was created by taxpayers' money, to pay for all of the things that you and I take advantage of. There's a reason, Stuart, that you live in New York but City. it was better spent if it was spent effectively, if we were eradicating poverty, if we weren't shrinking the middle class, I think a lot of people would be very happy to pay all this money. But it's so badly spent, isn't it, Mark? Well, I think we do better at keeping from shrinking the middle class, at having a robust middle class, if those people in the middle class had less of a tax burden and those people in the upper class had more of a tax How burden. How do you explain the last seven years when we've had intense regulation and higher taxes and the middle class has shrunk? For seven years it shrunk, and you know, how do you explain that? Well, I think that the middle class has shrunk because they've had less opportunities. And I think that those opportunities come from government, the government? programs. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, now there's where we really differ. We're out of time, but you know, we've got agreement here. I agree with you on the ending carried interest for hedge fund managers. I okay. disagree about everything else, and I hope okay. you lose. <laughs> Morris Pearl, it was a pleasure. You've still got a smile on your Thank face. You. That's pretty good. Always glad to be in your show, Stuart. You got to oh. come back? Thank you. Sure. Anytime you invite me. You got a deal. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah. Appreciate it.